Wall paintings and Etruscan tombs are valuable because of the information they provide about Etruscan culture and religion. Etruscan tomb paintings demonstrate belief in the afterlife. Tomb artwork was meant to satisfy the deceased and help them pass into a comfortable afterlife. Elaborate paintings were also a way for the elite to show their status. For the Etruscans, religion was an important part of culture and daily life, and an important part of this was belief in the afterlife. Tombs were an important part of Etruscan culture. Currently, they are a main source of information about Etruscan culture, art, life, and religion. Decorative items in tombs represent aspects of Etruscan culture which otherwise would be unknown. Tomb artwork can also indicate qualities such as the social status and religious life of the deceased. Various decorative items including tomb paintings, dinner sets, and jewelry were placed in tombs. It was believed that the person who died would take these items with them into the afterlife. It was believed that the deceased would need these items to pass into the afterlife successfully and to be comfortable while they were there. It was very important to the Etruscans to satisfy the deceased with the items placed in their tombs. Tomb paintings could be interpreted to represent the type of afterlife that was desired. Lighthearted, joyful scenes, including musicians, dancing, and sports, could symbolize wishes for the individual to have a joyful afterlife in which enjoyable activities would last for eternity. Tarquinia was an important center of Etruscan culture. Among other cities, it grew in wealth during 7th century BC because of its favorable geographic position, which made it easier to trade with the rest of the Mediterranean. The city contains a three-mile-long necropolis filled with over 6,000 tombs. At Tarquinia, only a small portion of Etruscan tombs had wall paintings. Only tombs of elite individuals had wall paintings. These paintings provided an opportunity for members of the elite class to demonstrate their wealth, as pigments used to create the tomb paintings were expensive. White was made from calcite, red from hematite, black from charcoal, yellow from gothite, and blue from a mixture of silica, lime, copper, and alkali imported from Egypt. The paintings were applied to a thin base layer of plaster wash with the artist first drawing outlines using chalk or charcoal. They were a form of investment in the afterlife of the deceased. These tombs often included a painted door and frame which represents the journey into the afterlife. The paintings were not meant to be public and were only meant to be seen by those at the burial ceremony. The musician's wall painting depicts three men. On the left is a dancer wearing traditional clothing of the Etruscan culture known as tabena. In the middle is a man playing a wind instrument called the double ilos flute. This is known to have been a popular instrument among the Etruscans. On the right is a musician playing a zither. The painting lacks depth and appears flat and stylized. The painting mostly uses warm colors such as red, yellow, and orange which creates a cheerful mood. The clothing worn by the dancer and the musician on the left and right use both red and green which complement each other and cause the clothing to stand out. This creates emphasis and has the effect of bringing the viewer's eye to each of the men. Both men are also looking to the right and the way they move their arms and legs is similar. These similarities in color and movement create a sense of unity. The musician in the middle moves in the opposite direction of the other two men and wears white, blue, and red clothing. The differences between the men on the sides and the man in the middle add variety to the artwork. The painting uses asymmetrical balance. Both sides have the same visual weight. Trees on each side of the men have curved lines creating the trunks, which adds movement throughout the artwork. The repeated trees create a sense of rhythm. Wall paintings were expensive to create, which indicates that the person buried in this tomb was likely a wealthy person of high status in Etruscan society. This wall painting could be seen as a symbol of the high status of the deceased. 
This wall painting is typical of its culture and period, as cheerful scenes of daily life involving musicians and dancing were common. This painting could be interpreted to represent the desired afterlife of the individual. The musicians and dancing could represent a comfortable, joyful afterlife in which the individual would be part of these activities for eternity. The trees throughout the painting place an emphasis on nature. The trees could represent growth of the individual as they went into the afterlife. Etruscan tomb paintings provide valuable insight into Etruscan culture. The tomb paintings show that Etruscans valued the afterlife and that they hoped for it to be comfortable and joyful. Etruscans also attached value to social status and wealth, and those of high status had their status displayed in their tombs.